Hi guys. Um, I love this photograph. It's a, a lovely representation of the amazing, um, beautiful, complicated uh, female body with the reproductive system and how simple us men are. Um, I'm, not sure if you, I'm not sure if you know, but uh, one in four couples currently around the world are having problems conceiving. Um, and my name is Gordon. I'm a fertility acupuncturist, a cognitive hypnotherapist, and I specialize in neurolinguistics. Um, and in the last uh, 10 years, I've helped about 3,000 couples to have kids, and um, one in 10 of our couples at the moment, <coughs> sorry, one in 10 of our patients are uh, experiencing uh, cancer treatment. Um, we have a global team, um, and we are specializing in the uh, building of a link between mindful health and technology. So we've created two apps at the moment. Uh, one is called Mindful IVF, and the other is Mindful Cancer. We've had Mindful, F, Mindful IVF launched for about 10 months now. And for us, we're experiencing more and more um, depression, anxiety, and stress in the world. Um, modern medicine is amazing at dealing with the human body, but we're really failing the human mind. So our goal really is to create a platform that allows people to take care of their minds when it comes to serious illness, such as cancer and infertility. So how it works, I didn't realize that was in front of me, sorry. <laughs> so it requires 10 minutes a day uh, for 10 days for our patients to see a dramatic change in their outlook in relation to their treatment. Um, it uses meditation, mindfulness, and it uses uh, neuro-linguistic programming. So as you can see from the app uh, on the left-hand side, we've broken into four sections, preparation, uh, treatment, and then other stages afterwards. And then the, at each stage, there is a mindfulness program. Um, it would be very similar to Headspace. So in the last 10 months, um, we have over 10,000 users on the Mindful IVF app. Uh, currently, we have 300 daily active users uh, and about two, two and a half to 3,000 uh, monthly active users. So the current stats with the IVF world at the moment. Last year, we had 1.7 million IVF transfers done in 2016. Um, in China, it was over half a million. Now, that's dramatically increased with the changes in the one-child policy, so you're seeing a massive growth there. Japan was 480,000, the United States 200, and the UK 120,000. On a daily basis, there's 4,700 transfers that happen, and we happen to deal with about 50 of them currently. And within 12 months, we're hoping to do 500 transfers a day, which will give us about 400,000 euro. So where is the future with this process? Companies like Facebook, Google, and Virgin um, are now providing financial support to their female staff who want to focus on their career, and they're offering up to $20,000 to freeze eggs. Um, it's quite controversial at the moment, but a lot of the big companies are doing that. About two years ago, um, I had a patient who told me that she was a pediatric oncology nurse, and she specialized in treating kids from four to six years of age. And she said that basically they can tell how well a child is going to do based on the parent's response to how well the child is doing. Uh, it kind of shocked me that such an emotional aspect, considering that you know, cancer is a huge thing. So for us, we really want to focus on the fear and the anxiety and the stress that comes with that and beating that, because it's a huge thing. And we want to kick cancer's ass with our mindful cancer. No, thank you. Thank you, Gordon. Yeah, a quick round of questions, please. Um, hi, thanks for this. Um, in terms of your IVF offering, um, do you see improvement in success rates? Um, they're currently 42% at the moment. Um, so again, it's broken down to different age groups. So if you're less than 30, you would have probably a 60% chance. If you're over 35, it's down to about 42%. Um, but it's the cost factor really that's the biggest thing. I think um, IVF is a necessity at the moment, but within 10 to 15 years, you're gonna see it become a choice. I think one in 10 couples within 10 to 15 years will make the choice to do that, to have a child within 15 years. Yeah, and with your app, do you see people staying on um, the IVF for longer before giving up? Um, the, the, the thing we're seeing at the moment is more success rates with the app, definitely. Like we're seeing people calmer, we're seeing people more focused. Um, and we're seeing people, like we've got an amazing response on a daily basis that it's really helped them. So as a father of two beautiful IVF children, I, I, I can feel this. Uh, I have to ask you though, 
uh, are there going to be enough uh, customers for you to be able to build a real business? We're going to create a suite of apps. So it's not like where you have one, like most companies at the moment are providing everything. We're going to create a suite of apps, one for IVF, one for fertility, one for obesity, one for cancer. So it's going to be like something like Microsoft Office, where it'll be very focused on, on the actual serious disease rather than just giving a global app. So I, I do believe we, we have 10 to 12 potential um, specialist apps. But what, what do you see the value per user approximately to be? Um, currently, the, the value, I like. if we can reach 18 months' time, if we can reach our 500 uh, pre and post downloads a day, it'll be worth about 400,000 to 500,000. Um, I can see the potential for, um, with, between all the suites, I can see a 10 to 15 million dollar business. Quite Excellent. Easily. And uh, thank you so much. We okay. have to wrap up and move thank on. Sorry. Thank, thank you, guys. You. So, Let's guys try to keep energy up and time.